But dear brothers and sisters, the price of paradise is such that you believe in Allah and His Messenger and you strive and you struggle and you make effort, you make juhud for Allah with your possessions and with yourselves. This is better for you if you did but know. If you want the victory, if you want the help, if you want Nasr min Allah wal Fatun Qareeb, you can get it today. You can have it right now. Put the formula into action. Because let me tell you, put this formula into action and you'll see the change in your life. You will see your life change. I give you my word. And I can give you my word because it's Allah's word. It's Allah's promise in the Quran. And Allah does not break His promises. Allah never breaks His mi'ad, His promises. And He won't break them to you. He's never broken them to me personally. And I'm giving you my seal of approval. That if you do these things, if you start to make some effort and start to awaken the Muslims that are around you, to start making effort to put this deen back into its right perspectives, to let the people know the truth about Islam, to start putting the reality of Islam on the forefront of the world scene, then things will begin to change and Allah will begin to get back on our side. Allah will begin to change the world around us and will make it a better place for us inshallah ta'ala. And this is our hope. This is the world that we want our children to grow up in, a world that is a world that is, is enveloped by Islam, a world that is run by Islam, a world that is, is, is being dealt with the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants it to be dealt with. Yes, this is our intentions. And if we feel that our intentions are anything less, then we need to recheck our, our intentions and our aqidah. Um, that yes, we do want the world to be under the banner of Islam. We want the world to see the beauty of Islam. Even if they don't know it, we know that it's for their own benefit and for their own good. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, yes, Allahumma ansur wa izza Islam wal muslimin. Ameen. Yes, O oh Allah, give help and dignity to Islam and the Muslims. And give this help to us by awakening us to the realities of our situation that we need to begin to wake up. We need to begin to take action on behalf of our deen, on behalf of ourselves, to save ourselves and our families from the punishment that Allah has prepared for those who do not believe in Him and those who disobey Him. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us of those who become uh, part of this promise that He has given us in the Qur'an. رَبَّنَا أَتِينَ فِي الدُّنْيَا حَسَنَةً وَفِي الْأَخِرَاتِ حَسَنَةً وَقِينَ أَذَابِ نَارِ أَقُولِ قَوْضَ هَذَا وَاسْتَغْفِرَ لِي وَلَكُمْ فَاسْتَغْفِرَهُ إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْقَافِرُ الرَّحِيمُ وَأَحْوَانُ دَعْوَانُ وَالْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ وَالسَّلَامُ عَلَيْكُمْ وَرَحْمَةُ اللَّهِ وَبَرَكَاتُهُ بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد